What's up everyone, it's Troy at Area 52 with another Friday used gun drop video. It has been a crazy week up here. We've got some big things in the works. So we're actually filming this on Friday. We usually film on Wednesday. So it's gonna be filmed Friday, drop Friday, and all the guns are going out Friday, today, December 15th. So when this video releases, call, 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 run, 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 text, 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 ho, 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 Merry Christmas. All right, getting into it. Got a XD9 sub compact, looks like a Gen 1 Springfield. Sorry for the shadow. MMP 9 Shield EZ. We've got a Sky CPX1, Crimson Trace Red Dot. Another Sky. Those are both CPX2, sorry. With no Red Dot. Super budget friendly. Glock 26 Gen 5. We've got a Canic TP9 SF Elite Tungsten. We've got a Sig SP2022 in 9mm. Looked like new. We've got a Citadel 1911, chambered in 45. We've got a lightweight Ruger SR 1911. This thing feels super lightweight. Two tone, looks really good, looks really new. We've got an officer's model Citadel 1911, also chambered in 45. It's so bright I can barely see. We've got a Sig P226. This is also two tone rosewood grip. It's a really nice pistol um, and it's a German frame. So these are pretty hard to come by, really nice. That's in nine mil. Got a Taurus 82S, I believe that is. 38 Special, Parker Eyes Black, super budget friendly. We've got a Colt Police Positive. This is in 38 SNW, not 38 Special. And this revolver was made in 1933. Pretty good condition for being almost 100 years old. Here's a really cool one this week. It is a Romanian Champion 2007 pistol. This is basically a Draco chambered in 5.56. I didn't know a lot about these. Imported by Century. Like I said, it just kind of looks like a regular Draco, but it's chambered in 5.56. And I read online that they only made around 800 of these. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Definitely not as cool as this next one. This is a grail piece, a collector's piece, and it is super minty. It's a Daewoo K1A1, chambered in 5.56, telescoping, collapsible stock. This thing is just freaking awesome. The box speaks for itself. I'm obsessed with anything that comes with the original box, especially when they look this cool. Got your manual and all the goodies. And I mean, it's just freaking badass straight out of Korea. Compare it up with this Daewoo DH40, same manufacturer, Korea made and imported. And this is a single and double and triple action. You read about that if you don't know. 40 cal Daewoo, comes with the extra mag as well. Super sick, moving on to the next table. Springfield Hellcat Shield SMSC red dot on it, great condition. We've got a really nice Colt Mustang, all black, uh, steel frame, chambered in 380, that's really nice. Really budget friendly, really shiny, Charter Arms undercover in 38 Special. Ruger Mark III Target, also in great shape. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 65-4, and it's chambered in 357 Magnum. And this was actually a South Carolina Highway Patrol revolver, as you can see right there. Right here, we've got a Smith & Wesson K38, chambered in 38 Special. Next up, we've got a Smith & Wesson Model 12-3 in great condition, and that's actually an airway. Next up, another excellent condition, Smith & Wesson Model 10-7. I will be upfront with you crazy Smith collectors, crazy blue box Smith collectors. These are all a great deal. None of them have the boxes. This is one of my favorites right here, Smith Model 36-1. It's in near mint condition. This one is not in mint condition, but still pretty cool. It is a Smith Model 37 in 38 Special. Really lightweight. Right here we have a Smith & Wesson Model 422. Chambered in 22, wood grip. And this is a pretty cool one. And it's in excellent shape for its age because it was made in 1888. It's a Colt Thunder 41, chambered in 41 Colt. That's an old ass revolver. We've got a Kimber Custom 2. Um, extended brake on it, excellent condition. 45 ACP, Kimber Custom Shop, Super Carry Pro. Like anything two-tone with the rosewood grips, it looks really good. That one's in 45 as well. We got two Kimber Micro 9s. One is a regular Micro 9. It does have the Crimson Trace uh, laser grips. The other one's a Micro 9 Crimson two-tone, also with the Crimson Trace laser grip. Really nice, the Crimson, I mean the uh, Kimber Micros always <coughs> go in and out real quick. Fuck, why did I just say that? The Kimbers, they don't hang around long at our shop. There you go. <laughs> All right, right here. Fucking just embarrassed myself. Got a Beretta Model 1951 in 9mm. These are really cool. We've got a Beretta 
model 950 BS, um, chambered in 25 ACP. These also don't hang around the shop long. Budget friendly Ruger Wrangler right there, chambered in 22. This is a new model Ruger Blackhawk. Cool thing about this one is it's chambered in 30 carving. Does have some wear, has seen its better days, but excellent shooter and 30 carbine Blackhawk. Or any revolver in 30 carbine, you don't see often. Right here we've got a Ruger Super Red Hawk. Pretty heavy, it's chambered in 45 Colt and 454 Casul. Already got the notches for some scope ring, really cool. We got plenty of 454 and 45 Colt ammo for that as well. All right, moving on to this last table. We've got a Romanian FPK. This one's full Romanian. It's not a century build or anything like that. And it's also unfired. 7.62 by 5.4R. I called the last one a Dragunov because they are clones. Uh, and got a lot of butthurt people about that. Just so you know, we do know the difference. Palmetto PA15 uh, M4 setup, 5.56. Five, We've got a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 comes with some regular mags and a drum mag as well. Little laser thing on it, great shooter. We've got a GSG 16, 22 in all black. Another really cool one this week. I really like these rifles. This is a French Moss 4956, chambered in 7.5 French. These are pretty popular semi-auto French military rifle. This one's in great condition and it comes with a few extra mags as well, which are not easy to come by. Right here, first time I'm seeing this, Remington Model 710, chambered in 270. We've got a Mossberg Patriot in 308, camo. It's a cool one this week. It's a Remington Model 1148. It's in pretty good condition for its age. Full choke, and it's a 16 gauge, semi-auto. And last, and probably least, um, super budget friendly, Traditions 50 Cal Black Powder with some sort of stock that actually looks cool, but also looks like somebody's dog chewed on. So there's that. That's gonna do it for this week. All these will go out today on Friday, December the 15th. We're open till seven and we're open 10 to five on Saturday. Appreciate you all watching. Give us a like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything means the world to us. Appreciate you all and we'll see you next week. <laughs>